welcome back to my channel uh, viewers if you are uh, for the new members welcome to the channel and don't i always remind you please don't forget to click on the subscribe button below below the video um, and if you if you are an existing uh, viewer that we've been together for a while don't forget to always like uh, new videos and every videos we have and also make sure you, you don't forget to comment anything per se anything you think is um, uh, you need as a question even if it's not on this same topic or anything you can drop it for me in the comment section I will always respond to your questions please and also try to please copy the link of each of our videos you can share with your friends and family it can actually go a long way to help them there are sometimes you share with them they don't you don't know how much they appreciate it it's it sometimes it even feels better than even giving them the money because it, it shows that you are sh showing them a way to raise funds for themselves by trading yeah that's it thank you so today on today's session i'll be showing you all on how to go about um using trust wallet and also there are some things in trust wallet and even every blockchain that people don't really understand the differences that's about like the differences between yield farming uh, liquidity mining and staking there are three different things but people do uh, um, uh, use the three interchangeably but they are three different things so i'll be taking us through on how to know the differences and also how to use uh, different blockchains on um, trust wallet so now the first thing is you need a trust wallet application please anytime you go to play store to use a trust wallet uh, to download a trust wallet application, make sure you download something like this exactly the, the name and the logo with this shield make sure it is exact please so that you won't download a wrong application yeah so let's start i will be i will now open the trust wallet application now this is trust wallet application for new users i actually already have a wallet i want to use for the uh, sake of this tutorial but for those who are just coming into this crypto space and they don't have idea how to even start creating a new wallet then before they even thought of think of trading so to create a new wallet now this is what i'll be doing first i'll be creating a new wallet for you to see so i'll click on uh, create a new wallet then you need a passcode let's just use one two three four five six you just need six but well, please don't use easy way uh, uh, easy numbers like this so that someone can easily access your your wallet so i'm just using it for the sake of the tutorial so click on i understand this is back up your wallet now you see these 12 words you are saying they are the key to your wallet once you lose them whatever amount you have in your wallet if you lose your phone and this wallet whatever amount you have inside as long as you don't have access to these 12 words then your wallet is gone forever anything you have in the wallet is gone forever so please and please and please and please please and please and please and please keep this words in a safe place and make sure you write them as it is written for you in the same order from 1 to 12 please make sure you have in your google drive and as well maybe you have a diary or something somewhere as well uh, sometimes you can actually save in your gmail but if you know that your gmail is public it's not the kind of gmail you use alone so don't save it there it won't be safe but google drive and um, your diary diary that i you know you alone have access to you can save it there please please yeah so i'll click on continue now after i understand i click on understand continue so this is our 12 digits um key recovery phrase you can call it key phrase you can call it recovery phrase you can call it seed phrase it depends on which wallet you're using they use different names yeah so as you can see to make it easy for you to copy to maybe to save on your google drive directly you can just copy and go and paste in your google drive but for you that want to save on your diary you need to write them one to twelve it's i think it's what it's it's something it's not much just one to twelve then you later looking for how to recover your wallet because you didn't write it down don't let laziness stop you from writing it down please please every everyone can lose their wallet you can copy it down now and if you don't have your diary with you, you can still copy it later actually. You can just go, I'll show you a way to view your seed phrase to copy at a later time. Yeah, so that's it. So now I'll click on, I'll copy, I'll copy it now. I'll save it in a note. Where's my note? 
so that we can have access to it here yeah. let's say recovery recovery phrase then i'll paste it here so this is it i'll save it recovery phrase that's our phrase because you need it as we are moving on with the uh, registration then you click on continue now once you click continue you'll be asked to put it in order type the weight in order to be sure that you actually wrote it down or you copy it down so now let's check our phrase as you can see we have amazing series account wild exchange amazing series account wild exchange then man warm royal will amateur man warm will royal oh it says just said i think i must have entered something wrong oh shit I must have entered something wrong let's from five let's start from six one two three four five six okay man warm royal will man warm royal will amateur yeah you can see it's a well done that means we imputed them in the in the correct uh, manner so now we can click on done so that means our wallet is ready now your wallet was successfully created as you can see if you want to push notifications or not i don't need it so just to be getting notification of out ingoing and outgoing you need this actually but because it's a new wallet okay let me just use it enable so that once someone send you uh money or once you send out money it will pop up notification at the top of your screen that you've sent so, so amount that's what it means so here now this is your new wallet this is how your new wallet will look like for someone that is creating a new wallet so for the purpose of this tutorial i'll be showing you maybe you want to recover your wallet maybe you want you changed your phone or something so you can come here you come to settings you can come to settings you can see here we have you can see here we have wallets it means you can create multiple wallets if you want so let me show you how to create multiple wallets you create on this wallet you click on this wallet rather as you can see multi coin wallet one that's what you have then you click on this plus sign to add a new wallet maybe you have multiple wallet and you you want to add all of them to this same uh, trust wallet you click on that plus sign as you can see there so you click on plus sign so you see it will take us back to the same procedure then you can now use i already have a wallet then you import your wallet or something you can see yeah that's that but for for to check your key phrase maybe you didn't write it down then you are finally home you have your diary with you and you now want to copy and write down your uh phrase anywhere you want to write it maybe your notes your diary or something you click on these three dotted lines this line these three dots once you click it you click it will you can see this is your wallet it will not you click on show recovery phrase once you click on show recovery phrase it will if you use fingerprint you can use it you can also use your passcode to log in so it will show you it will ask you i understand the risk so that you don't share with other people that's what they are trying to let you know and you now say yes i understand the risk then you continue you can see the same phrase we copied earlier that's the same phrase that is here as you can see it's just the same thing so you can now write it down once you're done you now go back to your wallet that's that for creating new wallets <clears throat> so now for the you can see for uh, here we don't have anything in the wallet i don't have anything so to actually use it for training might be a bit difficult so i would like to have a wallet i don't have much on the wallet too actually but for the purpose of understanding on how you see assets on the wallet i will try to add the wallet i think i have some things and in the wallet i have that's the wallet i, I actually recently i actually just used 
my wallet to just uh, stick only to my trust wallet so i'll be showing you, i'll be using the wallet to show you at least it can show you how sticking looks like in trust wallet too so now the next thing you'll be seeing is um let's go you'll be seeing let me add my wallet my main wallet since this one was just a demo wallet i i just used to demonstrate how to create a new wallet so i'm adding my own wallet now so I, it's a wallet i already have so i'll click on i already have a wallet that's this i already have a wallet yep that's it and i click on i already have a wallet then you can see we have different type of wallets we have a trillion smart chain and the, and so on you can decide to just use for one because you only want to trade more any of this blockchain maybe you only want to trade um for example you only want to trade on smart chain you just open smart chain wallet but i'll advise you to use multi coin wallet so that you can use any blockchain to trade at any time you don't have to start creating multi separately later because in, back in the days it used to be each uh, separate blockchain uh, trading separately you don't have multi coin yeah if you want to trade on ethereum you have to create ethereum wallet separately you have to create smart chain separate that can be very very stressful but they've made it easier now you can use you can you can just use multi coin so anytime you want to use all you need to do is just change the network change the blockchain you want to use in the same wallet so you don't need more uh, different separate wallet for each um blockchain or each network uh -huh. that's why multi-coin is always better so i i actually have a multi-coin <coughs> wallet so i'm clicking on multi-coin right now so now you i want this is where you import your phrase here will be the name of the wallet actually my the name of my wallet is gas i name it gas fee store you can actually use any name you like you can change it to any name you can change your wallet you can also edit your wallet name as well to anything you want so what i will be doing now you won't see i will i will just import you just see me import because my phrase is not supposed to be shown to anyone so i'll be importing my phrase now so this is what it looks like immediately after importing my wallet as you can see i've imported my wallet then i'll click done it's done and see this is what i have on my on this wallet just this this is not actually all i have because the token i don't even ha, i can't even remember actually okay okay i think this one i got it from one staking i did i did it for just few days then i i just had to stop it i needed to stake for something else so that's why you're seeing this amount so most this wallet i only use it for staking so for security reasons i also advise you to have different wallet for different purposes maybe you can have a wallet you use for staking separately you don't use it to do transactions you can have a wallet that you just use for trading you can have extra wallets that you use to keep your gas fee so that in case your gas fee finish you ha you just send more you don't have to be begging in the group that please help me with one dollar bsc or something so instead of that you can always keep gas fee somewhere so that once your gas fee in your main wallet finish then you just send gas fee from your spare wallet to that main wallet that's that's how you just need to you you can also have your strat that's just my own strategy you can actually have your, have your own uh, <coughs> separate strategy as well that you know it works for you yeah so this is what works for me so you can actually develop yours as well so this is how your trust trust wallet will look like the it is always arranged <coughs> matter of quantity the amount the higher the the token with the highest amount will be at the top that's in dollar value that's this dollar value you see here this amount it is determined that's what determines the ranking of your wallet so the higher your value the higher your position so you can see 0 0.98 is first then 0 0.79 then 0 0.36 you can see this guy is a poor guy imagine 0 0.98 don't even have up to one dollar of that ramp yeah so now i'll be showing you guys on how to go about this um to go about this so now the next thing we'll do is how do we how do we swap token how do we swap here you can see we have these options here we have send we have receive we have buy we have swap so this one's here the first one which is send send <clears throat> send is meant for actually if you want to send something to someone you might want to send this first ramp 
smart chain any os finance bitcoin anything you want to do once you just what you just do is once you click on send now send you can see it's asking me it will only show you the option of what you have in store that you cannot send what you don't have so it will only show you the things you have so now maybe you want to send gas fee to your second wallet you can click this smart chain if you are using smart chain network click smart chain once you click smart chain smart chain is the same thing as that bnb that's binance coin but on trust wallet if you want to trade anything on bsc network you have to have that smart chain if you don't have smart chain even if you have 100 million usdt and you don't have any smart chain and you want to trade on uh, binance network uh, binance smart chain network then there is no way you can trade you must have yeah, uh, you must have this B, uh, B, uh, Binance Smart Chain. There's a difference between this Smart Chain and the normal BNB. This Smart Chain is what they take as gas fee. It is most, it is most important thing you need when you are using a Smart Chain network, because it's like you having a car, as my one of my boys always say. To say you not having Smart Chain is like someone that has you have hundred thousand USD, USDT in your wallet, but you don't have Smart Chain. So it's like you having a car and you don't have a gas in your car. So that means that car is useless. You, you have a car, but you cannot use it. It cannot move. It cannot go anywhere because you don't have gas in it. So that's what it's, this smart chain is all about. No matter how big your wallet is, if you don't have smart chain to trade, when you want to trade on smart, uh, Binance Smart Chain Network, then it is useless. That wallet, at that moment, you can't do anything with it. Except you want, you have Ethereum and you want to trade on Uniswap, that's Ethereum blockchain. <laughs> but as long as you want to trade on Binance Smart Chain Network, you must have BSC. That's it. So, for example, now we are sending gas fee to another wallet. So, maybe you've copied the address already. All you need to do is just click on paste. You just click paste. Automatically, the address will show here that's that then and also uh once you click for amount bnb the amount of bnb you want to send you can click max if you are sending everything once you click max it will show the uh, everything but maybe you want to send half of this since it's 0 0.00185 you can just say maybe for example 0, 0.00 what is the half of 18 is 0 09 and just use 0 09 you can see that means you are sending half Meanwhile, you must have entered the wallet address here already. You must have pasted it. Uh, this one was the last thing I actually copied. So you must have pasted it already, as you can see. So you all you just need to do is you now click continue. It will just send immediately. Within five seconds to five within five seconds, you should receive it in that your other wallet. Yeah, you should receive it. So once you receive in your other wallet, you can continue your trade. That's just for send. And for receive now, on the receiving end, you click receive. This is receive, as we can all see. This is receive. And once you click on receive, it means you are the one that want to receive now. Maybe this is the wallet that you want to send gas fee to. Then you now you want to send smart chain for gas fee. You can click smart chain for gas fee. Then what you do is you copy this address. You copy it. Once you copy this address, you now go, you go to, to, since you've copied, maybe you can just go to your second wallet and send. And, or maybe you want to buy from someone, you've already sent money to their bank account, then you want to receive the smart chain. That is, this is the same address you copy. You use this copy button, this copy. Once you click on copy, it will automatically copy. As you can see, it show copy address. That means you've copied it already. Then you now go and send to the person maybe on whatsapp wherever it is you're chatting you send it to the person to fund that wallet and if you are sending it to your own wallet yourself then you can just you can just go back to that let's say for example this is our second wallet you know you now go to send you go to send you click on smart chain and send this smart chain to this address you now click paste you can see it's automatically pasted the address so once you click, click paste and you can click max as well to, if you are sending everything if you are sending half half as i said earlier you use 0 0.0009 so once you once i click continue now it's automatically sent but i'm not sending to the i cannot be sending to the same wallet yeah so once you click send it will go automatically within five seconds you should receive it in the other wallet that's how send and receive works so for buy this buy option this is buy you know i told you I told you earlier if not for nigerian government that actually stopped us from 
uh, stop banks from intervening in um, cryptocurrency and the rest so you can actually use your atm card to make purchase so here once you click buy once you click buy you can buy Binance smart chain you can buy Binance smart chain you see you can use you can buy Binance, let's assume we are buying hundred dollar because most of Nigerian cards are hundred dollar capped. So you can use whichever you can see here we have Moonpay. It depends on which network works with your card. For example, we have Moonpay. If Moonpay works, you use Moonpay. You just click next down here. You just click next. But if Moonpay doesn't work for you, you can check there are simplex ramp. Yeah, this is ramp, this is simplex. Do there are still some Nigerian cards that work, but that one we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Don't worry. There are some Nigerian cards you that are still that still work for cryptocurrency, even though I'm not supposed to say this, but I can actually put you through. I'll actually make some videos subsequently to show you how to go about those ones. So and that one you can make you can start making small small for free to raise uh, funds for yourself. So that's actually important, but I will that will be subsequent, uh, it will be coming in some subsequent uh, videos in future. But well, not today for the sake of our time yeah so that's how to buy actually once you click on the network it will take you to your otp page where you use your otp for your card so once you send it and everything is okay you funded your bank account it automatically debit your account and fund your uh, trust wallet that's how buy works then swap is just direct swap you want to do swap immediately instead of going to the dApps. but the gas fee here is always higher so I don't, I don't, I don't advise you use this swap or this exchange here. The gas fee is always higher here, so just ignore it. Always use DApps. So this is what we call DApps. I think th this is DApps. I think recent, uh, not long ago, um, iPhone had uh, Trust Wallet had issues with iPhone, and they they had to ask um, uh, Trust Wallet to remove the DApps option from iPhones. But I don't know. I think, but I think they are back. I think DApps is back on iPhones actually. But even if you can't, even if it doesn't have DApps, you can use your, you can use your normal browser, Chrome browser, to connect to DApps with your trust, uh, to connect to your trust wallet. You can use that. So for those who have DApps now, that's the Android users, you just click on this DApps, D apps, D apps. That's like D apps. Once you click on D apps, this is the D apps. This is what you need. So once you come to the app, it's just like your regular browser, like your Chrome, like your Kiwi browser, like your Puffin browser, like your UC browser, just the same browser. The only thing is that it is inbuilt, inbuilt in Trust Wallet. A browser, if I like, I can search gold.com here to come up. It's just like your, it's just like your normal browser. If you say gold.com, it will come up with anything you want, the same way your Chrome and the rest will come up with it. As you can see it's loading you can see you can see this is gold.com on trust wallet so it's the same thing as your um, trust wallet uh, as your chrome and the rest so here now the most important thing i need you to know is you can see there are different things you want to search all these ones are mostly are actually crypto related so now to trade for bsc blockchain to trade on uh, for bsc blockchain we have Pancake swap is the most common of the dApps. That's the link you use to trade on K Pancake swap. If somebody should just tell you, go and buy so 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 thing. If you ask the person, is on which network, which blockchain? If you say it is Binance Smart Chain BSC BSC network, the first thing you your mind should go to is this Pancake swap. This Pancake swap. Let me circle it so that you can see. This Pancake swap. <clears throat> That's where the, your first your mind should go to first pancake swap that's it so once you come to pancake swap now let's go to pancake swap let's click on pancake swap as you can see this is pancake swap but i want to it's like my network is kind of slow okay i think let me just let me off my hotspots maybe it's consuming because my other phone is connected as well so here go back to my trust wallet yeah so this is pancake swap so i need you to take note of something it is very very much important 
so because here this is pancake swap and pancake swap it is a swap that is meant for bsc network binance smart chain network so take note of this place let me circle this so that you can see you can see this this is local logo of binance smart chain everybody knows this is binance smart chain even binance itself this is their logo this is binance smart chain logo so because now let's say for example you change this logo you can see these are different different networks you can see them different networks here you can see them different network this is the first one is smart chain the second one is ethereum let's let me pick ethereum now so that i can show you something ethereum you can see that's ethereum's logo there then let's try to connect our wallet now click you can see connect wallet option you can click this you can click this whichever one uh, you think is okay for you to click it's all the same once you click connect wallet once you click connect wallet we are connecting our wallet to trust wallet now so you pick trust wallet which is this we are connecting wallet to trust wallet click trust wallet and click connect so you can see you can see it's ref it's refusing to connect because it is not ethereum blockchain it's not ethereum block uh, uh, swap so it is for bsc then let's go back to bsc let's choose the correct network so now this is the correct network then let's click connect and see what happens if it will connect do my network is kind of slow but it will surely connect As you can see now, you can see it's no more showing connect because I've connected to Trust Wallet using the right, the correct smart chain network. <clears throat> you can see this is this is now Binance. Uh, this is this is now uh, Pancake Swap, where you can swap anything that has to do with BSC project. Anytime they tell you go and buy this so -so project is on BSC, we have different type of projects. So you can see on he here we have we have um you can see my balance this is the balance for my bnb as bnb that my balance matching bnb for my gas fee you can see this is the balance is 0 0.00000185 or so that's my balance as you can see so normally once i click max it's supposed to show me the total of this balance but because the, the my total balance is not much, it's not enough to even trade. That's why it's not popping up the total where that zero is. Where the zero is, it's supposed to show me this total balance, the value. But the problem is because I don't have enough balance. But if you have enough, like you have like one dollar, two dollar, three or or more, it will automatically show you that. But now I can just type it manually. Zero point zero zero. One eight. It will show you the value in cake. This is cake. Cake is the um, cake is the uh, token for pancake swap. They own cake. That's their own uh, coin. The pancake swap now they have their own personal coin, which is cake. They have cake. Like bakery swap also. You, you also use it for BSC. So they have uh, bake as their own coin. So we also have pool coin swap for BSC. Their own coin is uh, pool coin. That's it. Everybody have their own um, traditional coin for their for their swap that you can also buy and you can sell on the same site. You can even buy it if they also have on different platforms as well where they are being listed. So now, for example, I know some people will be wondering, what if? Okay, what if I want to buy? What if I want to buy a coin? And I search the name here. I can't find it. For example, I want to buy Yoshi Swap, Yoshi Token. You see, it's showing no result found. How do I get it now? That's what will be coming to your mind. And this guy said I should go and buy it, but he did not send me the contract address. The con Once you have contract address, all you need to do is just paste it here. As you can see, search name or paste address. But if you've not added a contract or address to a wallet before, even if you search the name, as long as it is not a verified token on and pancake swap you will not see it it will just show you search not found but how do we get it we have different search engines search engines like um 
CoinGecko, Coin Market. We have CoinGecko, we have Coin Market. So let's go to CoinGecko or Coin Market now. So as you can see, I just show down. We have. Um, let me show you Coin Market. Let's use Coin Market. We have Yoshi. Yoshi. This is Yoshi. The first one. Let's just pick the first one. That's coin market for you. That's where you search. If you watch my uh, earlier videos I did earlier on, you I showed everyone how to use um coin market coin market cap so that you can search any token per se, any token you want to do. That's why it's, please always watch my videos for, uh, the way uh, the way and manner they have been posted because I make sure I post them in a manner that it's 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 assembled in a way that one even if you are a new trader, you watch them one after the other from the beginning. From the first video to the last one because if you miss one of the video you might not really get everything correctly but if you fo follow them the way sequentially i'm very very sure you'll be okay with everything learning will be very it will be easier for you but if you want to jump one and go to the other you'll be going back and forth you don't want to go and check out to use this and that on the other video which is wrong please always watch i know it might be time consuming but the money you might later you will not be making you know that yes ah it's really worth it to spend just like the maximum i don't think i have any video that is up to two hours so spending one hour 30 minutes to learn how to make millions of nera i don't think it's too much i i really don't think it's too much please we need to learn because we all know that no one is there ready to help anybody in this country in any way in the world right now everybody is just after themselves so please invest in yourself it is very important yeah so here on yoshi yoshi now this place this is where contract is this is contract it is very important this is where contract address is. and you can see this two square sign that's where you copy once you click that sign it will copy this contract address yes and you can see let me click it so that i can see it will take me to be a scan if i click on just the body it will go and show me everything about yoshi you can see the number of holders the number of uh, hair and i also want to tell you in case sometimes if you want to check details of how the contract of uh, a token is coded for bs scan or uh, for a binance smart chain token only you use bsc scan let's say for example now this yoshi you can still copy the address here and actually find the address here as well this is the address this is the address so you can copy it to this same double square i decide you can see copy it once you click here you paste it there it will sh still show you the same thing as you can see it will still show you the same yoshi swap you can check everything about it if you are a programmer you can go through the codes the contract this is the contract you want to read everything how what is in the contract is there any way the contract uh, the person is trying to like uh, is trying to cheat in the contract maybe they will pull at the long run or something something not right shall, in the contract you can see everything there you can read everything you want there are comments from holders or any other person you can read different thing on the project that's bs scan you can search any bsc product any bsc token for example we have binance bnb itself you can you can search anything you can see this is uh, wrapped bnb itself see anything that is um, on binance smart chain you can check it here you can have different things different tokens there are thousands of tokens on binance smart chain so that's that so let's go back to coin market this is the coin market so this is the contract if you, you can still click here you still copy it as well you see if you want to check i don't need to go back i've done that in my previous video so that you we don't waste much time so once you want to copy as i showed you earlier you click on this double square <coughs> click on double square so once you click on it now it will say copied you see you can see it's at the top here or the top of the screen you see copied there let me let me let me do that again so that we can all see so this is the copied here as you can see that's where the copied will show to be sure that you've copied it actually yeah so we can now go back to our pancake swap 
you always input your passcode so now let's assume we want to search for yoshi once you click on where bnb is this is where you click on i know some people wondering where did they click so this is where you click this small arrow this tiny arrow here that's what you click that's the exact thing you click to show you the drop down of every coin you want to search and uh, they have a smart chain listed already so to search yoshi now you just paste in this search box so you can see oh, sorry <clears throat> once you paste you can see yoshi now then for you not to be pasting address every now and then just click import this import once you click import it will automatically show in your wallet don't mind the reason why it's showing unknown source is because it's not verified on pancakes or, but that doesn't mean it's a bad token it doesn't mean it's bad it's just that it's not being verified there yet but it can be a bad token as actually but just always do your own research to make sure whatever you are buying don't just go and buy because your friend said buy this token no always do your own research as I, if you watch my previous video on how to discover a good um, top my top five metaverse token i explain everything on what to check out when you want to buy a project the uh, the the uh, what makes a project good and what makes a project bad if you want to learn that go and watch my uh, top five metaverse token to look out for i explain everything in that video so you understand better i'm sure so just watch that so now what you do is import just click import so now you can see you have yoshi in your wallet so now if you just click the drop down you can now see these are all your tokens you have and yoshi because it's already the one showing here can now come you anytime you once you leave this page actually once you leave this page and come back you can search for yoshi on your pancake swap so for example you i don't have usdt on this wallet but let's use bnb binance smart chain Binance smart, you can hear the sound it's, you can remove the sound you can you can there are so many things you can do in the settings this is the settings there are a lot of things you can change here this is the settings you can change different things you can change your gas fee you can change the sleep rate tolerance the sound and some other i'll show you that but let's just for example you want to swap let's say we are you can use the, you can use uh, most like the key things the most important things to use in swapping as i said earlier binance matching it is compulsory you have it when swapping on pancake swap Binance smart chain is compulsory. I repeat, it is compulsory because that is what will be used to charge for gas fee. Let's say, for example, we are buying 0 0.00. Since I have 018, we are buying 0 0 0.002, for example, of Yoshi. This is the quantity of Yoshi you will be getting if you are using this 0 0.0002 because the total supply of Yoshi is very much. That's why you are seeing as if it's giving you plenty quantity. It's not amount of it's not dollar amount, no. It's just the amount of Yoshi you'll be getting. That's the value of uh, Yoshi when it's the 0 0.0002 BNB value of Yoshi is 151090. That's what it means. Yeah. So now if you now click on swap, if you now click confirm swap automatically once you click on confirm swap it will drop it's this your amount of bnb will turn to yoshi you will now be saying this balance 151090 i don't want to swap because so that i don't use the gas fee because we don't have much so that we can use this for subsequent things so once you click it this balance here you're seeing that is zero it will now turn to this amount here this zero will now be 151090 once you swap but sometimes some transactions will fla fail if you say transaction failed so what actually costs it is nothing but this this slippage tolerance 0 0.5 so when you use 0 0.5 slippage tolerance and it's not working um if it doesn't work then you now go to your settings go and set your your slippage tolerance so what do we do you go to settings as i said go to settings you can see here you can change it to dark mode here if you want this dark mode option you can change, change it to dark mode then this is slippage tolerance uh -huh. here we also have this this one this default transaction speed this gray 
if you are Russian, maybe it's a new project and everyone wants to be the first to buy. If you use standard, this person that use fast and instant would, would be able to enter the trans, uh, project, the transaction before you. So, <clears throat> but the person will be paying higher gas fee. That's what it means. Standard is the lower, lowest. Fast is lower compared to instant, but better than standard, faster than standard. But instant, it will charge you higher gas fee, but it will be, it will do, it will run your transaction immediately. It means you are paying, you are sacrificing some of your money just to get in that project before any other person. That's what it means. Yeah, I hope, I just, I believe you understand. I, as I've always said, if there's anything that is confusing you don't understand, please drop a comment for me. I will check. Even if it means me later dropping my um, group address or my no, phone number for you to contact me, no issue. I will do that. So for the slippage tolerance, this is where slippage tolerance is. So you can see we have 0 0.5 we have uh, sorry we have 0 0.5 we have one you can now try one if 0 0.5 doesn't work you can try one actually so you you can actually always change your slippage um tolerance that's if the 0 0.5 doesn't work then you go and try you keep trying so and you can also <coughs> you can also change you can actually change your slippage tolerance manually if 0 0.1, 0 0.5, 1.0 percent doesn't work, then you can come here, click the last one here to use manual. You can just say, okay, let me use five percent so that this thing can go faster. You can use five percent. Once you click five percent, just click anywhere outside this settings box. Anywhere outside. Once you click anywhere outside, you can see the slippery tolerance is down five percent. So this one should get, make it for Tron. They will say your transaction may for Tron. That means it may it may rush ahead of where it's supposed to buy. So and they may charge you higher. That, that's what the slippery tolerance means. It's always on most decks. Even Algo blockchain. If you watch the my video on how to use Algo, you see that I also explain how to use the, their slippery tolerance as well. Even though the BSC the charges on BSC is actually much more than that of um Algorand blockchain. So but still they work the same way. They work the same way that's that's it so now once you click swap you should now be able to swap even if the five doesn't work you can still go back and increase the slippage to maybe eight nine ten as much as you can increase for just the transaction to go through but sometimes if you keep increasing slippage like that go and check what is wrong with the project first sometimes it may be a rock it may be a bad project that's why it's been like that but if you keep forcing it and you insist it may now eventually work later then you now try to swap back when you see profit and you discover that no you can't you can't swap back because it's a honeypot we call it honeypot project that you buy people can people keep buying but to sell now what to sell is trouble you cannot sell back your money you just keep seeing the project growing your money can go from hundred dollar to ten thousand dollars but you cannot take one nera one dollar like this you cannot remove from that project because it's only port. it is swap disabled sell is disabled on that project so always take note please this is very very important even if it's one dollar no matter the amount a loss no matter how much you lose it's always painful loss is not good there is no one that will tell you that it's normal for me to get take it's a life no matter how small it's painful yeah so to see transaction history as well to see the transaction you've done on that day you click this sign but we've not done any transaction so it might show that we don't have any transaction here once you click here you see it's a no recent transaction if there is any transaction there that's where you see to see if that transaction is successful or not if it's successful it will be written in green color if it's failed you will see it it's written in red yeah that's it that's how pancake swap works <clears throat> so we also have pool coin swap here <laughs> and i'll show you the difference between pancake swap and pool coin swap and the reason why i prefer using pool coin swap over pancake swap it's the same thing they do the same they serve same purpose but let me show you why i prefer this let me go to pool coin pool coins pool coin dot com I think it's bookcoin.app slash swap if i'm not mistaken it's been a while i didn't use 
trust wallet i think this is it as you can see here this logo has changed it has changed back to it has changed back to ethereum logo so because here it's it has multi chain you can use as you can see here on pool coin the difference between pool coin again is on pool coin you can use binance smart you can trade binance smart chain you can trade polygon matic you can take trade cool chain that's cool coin tokens so you can see but on pancake you can only trade bsc only though they are all inside trust wallet you can see it is it is all inside trust wallet but the difference is just that here you can trade three from for three different blockchains meanwhile pancake is just for bsc only because they are basically working on you know, trading bsc tokens uh -huh. so now the first thing we need to do is to change that network from ethereum to binance smart chain change to binance smart chain because i will mostly be mostly emphasize on binance smart chain network because it's the most common when it comes to dex on trust wallet it's most common so here now and again another advantage of using pool coin over 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 pancake swap is that here we have auto slippage this that one that you'll be setting sleepy ah this one did not work that one did not work. let me try this one this one can do it automatically that the the sleeper that works that will, that will work is what it will pick for you even if it has to fortune it will help you pick the right one so that you can buy faster than any other person and this one also you need you need you need you actually need to like you need to like connect your wallet to as you can see here uh, connect your wallet this connect button sorry this is connect so you need to we need to connect wallet to let's connect our wallet you see wallet connect what are we connecting wallet we are connecting to trust wallet so let's connect to our trust wallet as you can see it shows that we've connected to you connect to wallet you can see everything changed around here it's now showing my balance my balance is 0.00, 0. the wallet is a broke wallet so you don't have money in it so that's why you're seeing the 0. 0.0000 balance so now we have that's auto we used to have pancake version one so they just decided to migrate to version two that's why you're seeing pancake v1 and pancake v2 here but we put it on auto so it's better to put it on auto even if the project is on pancake one or pancake two anywhere it is Pucon will automatically help you pick the right version so you don't have to stress on that <laughs> that's um, that for this so that's another um, advantage of um, pool coin over pancake another advantage of um, pool coin over pancake again is on pool coin you can decide to see all the total number of assets you have the total number of assets you have on your wallet in your trust wallet even the ones that have not been verified on trust wallet that they are not showing price on trust wallet yet you can see everything on pool coin it's just because i don't have much assets here so once i click it's supposed to show my total balance <clears throat> and everything i have so this uh, is no longer supporting so let's go back to our pool coin let's go back this is for version one pancake swap but because i don't have anything in my wallet you should have you would have seen my balance around here it will show the balance so once i click it it will automatically take me to where um, to where all my assets are but i don't have that's why but once you found your wallet if you come here just try click on this your that's your own wallet wallet tokens you will see it there so but here now this thing you're seeing here is not your money that's the current value of pool coin pool coin itself that's the their own uh, native coin that's the current value it's at 1.21 well that's did so much it's it went so high one at some point oh. every market actually did so yeah, i'm not too, i'm not that surprised that it's at this price so it's always good to buy the deep i think this is the best time as at when i did it when i'm doing this video market is down so best time to buy um tokens 
so that's that for pucoin actually that's for pucoin and one good thing again about pucoin is you can also check charts for a token for example you check charts you click on charts you can see this is charts this is the charts you can check charts for a token let's paste i think i see i think i still have the yoshi address copied oh no sorry of have um, already cancelled it but you can search yoshi instead but the reason why i prefer to copy the address is you can see you will see different yoshi you can see yoshi 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 shiba yoshi ba you know and the rest but this is the the first one is actually the original one. but some in some instances it might not it might not be the first one that will be the original so for you to be sure you are buying the right thing on pucoin or checking the right chart make sure you use the contract address paste it in where i wrote that yoshi just paste the address there it automatically show you just yoshi only because no projects two projects can never share the same contract address. it's like you two people sharing the same bank account number no it's not possible two people cannot share the same bank account number you can share the same bank you can be using the same gt but you cannot use the same bank account number that's what it means so let's open yoshi and see the chart you can see the chart for Yoshi. You can see the market cap. You can see everything. The same thing you see on Coin Market Cap. You can see it here as well. So you can see this is how the charts look like. Looks like that's Yoshi. Then click on Info to see market cap and other information. This place, this side. Click there and see some other informations. You can see this is the current market cap of Yoshi. And Pucoin always advise here this thing. It means there is a wallet that is holding 38.22 percent of this yoshi so you should be careful because if this person should dump now it will it will drop the market so bad but this market uh, coin that is unlocked if it's a very good project sometimes it may mean that maybe they want to run airdrop or something and they are running from this wallet so they have to unlock the wallet to run the airdrop or they want to do some uh, maybe they want to pay they want to pay for advertisement they want to pay for launching on exchanges or something it might be that this is the wallet they use so they will unlock it so that they will fund all those exchanges they want to pay or marketers they want to pay so it might be the reason and sometimes if it's for stealing purpose they will unlock it and they will remove liquidity and they will all pull your project they will just kill the project it happens at times so you need to always take note of this so you need to do your research and know what you are buying that's why it is always important to do your own research and know what exactly you are buying to not buy a rock a rock pool to a project that will end up rock pooling yeah so here what you see here this is what we call liquidity pool this is the lp this is liquidity pool without this even if you have this one one billion without this particular one this one is useless because this is what enables every project every token every coin to be swappable it is what it is liquid it is like you having money in your bank account but your bank doesn't have money for example you have one million naira in your bank account but the current value or what the liquidity your bank has as at that time, maybe they've given out different loans it's just an instance i know it's almost impossible to have such situation for a bank not to have one million naira to use for your own personal money but i've uh, explained this actually in my previous video as well but i'll still explain it here so here you have one million naira in your account but the liquidity the bank itself have in their reserve is like maybe it is a hundred thousand naira so that means it is short of nine hundred thousand for you to even use so which means if they don't have enough money in their reserve there is no way you can move money from your account the bank must have more than that one million naira before you you can access you can move out one million naira from your account so those figures you see you moving transfer from one bank to the other it is because your bank have enough money in their uh, bank that's why you can it's people that use all these um uh, people that render these financial services these pos services that will know how this thing works like you see sometimes you want to send money they will be telling you and uh, they are on maintenance and uh, there's network issue and they, most time they don't have the money to use that's why you notice that you most of these their POS will just stop working at some point you have the money in your account but you can't you can't access it it's because they don't have the liquidity it's not because of anything it's just the same way cryptocurrency works as well
yeah i believe I, i'm sure you understand by now so that's what it means that's the difference between liquidity and market cap market cap is just showing you the figure of okay this is the amount of money that has been invested in this project but the liquidity is showing you what you can use this is the amount of money we have which means everybody can actually trade their token they know everybody cannot sell at once all these 210 cannot decide to sell at the same time so that's that's that for liquidity i don't want to go much on it i've already explained in my video so that won't take much time so that's how that for pool coin yeah that's pool coin so now that's bsc we've explained how bsc works how to trade on bsc <coughs> and how to use their different we also have bakery swap you can also trade there as long as the token has been listed on bakery too, you can use bakery swap too there are different swaps you can use but the most uh, the most popular ones the uh, the uh, cake and uh, pancake swap and pool coin up so those are the two that they are very very key just you can say you can if you don't remember the link say you can just search for the name pool coin swap and uh, pancake swap it will it will bring options for you then you just you just click the exchange you go to the exchange so now let's say for example for ethereum if you want to for those that want to buy ethereum project it is uniswap they use they mostly use Uniswap. There are different swaps as well for Ethereum project. This is Uniswap, as you can see. So you can, it's just the same thing. It's the same procedure, the same process. Once you click on Uniswap now, you also make, so now in this, since we are using Uniswap now, you make sure that network, you see, you make sure this network is Ethereum network, as you can see, it's Ethereum, not BSC this time. This Uniswap is actually for you. Ethereum, you can see the wallet has been connected. This shows that this is my wallet address, it has been connected because I used the right network. I didn't even I use BSC to not connect, it show me to connect, but I must change the network to Ethereum first. So that's why you can see it that way. So you always make sure you use the right network for the right swap. So you can see here, here also you just search the name of tokens you want to buy or something. It's the same thing. Let's say, for example, you want to buy one, uh, you want to buy anything you want to buy per se, as long as it is um, Ethereum token. Like we have Shibino on Ethereum, but you cannot search it. Okay, it's it's now listed on uh, a Uniswap. So you can see, you can see Shiba. We have Shiba on BSC, we have Shiba on, they are the same thing. It's just that they have two different network of Shiba. They have Shiba Ethereum, they have Shiba on BSC Smart Chain. So if you are want to buy the Ethereum type, this is Ethereum type. You import. Yes, no problem. It's that's the correct Shiba. So now let's assume you are buying one Ethereum. We'll not be able to swap because I don't have Ethereum. I just want to show you how it works. So now they will show you the best price. I don't have Ethereum, so it will be showing insufficient balance. But one thing I want you to know is anytime you're trading on Ethereum, Ethereum has mad gas fee. Ethereum always have crazy gas fee. When you want to try, okay, for example, okay. I think their gas fee is even reduced now. I saw the gas fee just now. You can see the logo of gas by the side. This is the gas. So if you are buying one Ethereum worth of Shiba now, they will charge you 21.67 dollar so you can see it's even reduced now before it's my it's my reach up to 100 dollar 200 even but now it's also is 21.67 fee though though it might be that this 21 is just to approve because sometimes you before when you are doing transaction when you're running any transaction you have to approve before you swap it happens like that once you approve it you would pay gas fee for approving then you now pay another gas fee to swap both on bsc or or um ethereum any dex you are using they always have even if it's algo blockchain i showed you to for algo you use algo to swap algo as gas fee but algo gas fee is the cheapest so far it's the cheapest you use 0 0.001 algo to, to to swap that's less than you are more safe so it's very very cheap compared to ethereum and bs but though bsc now this one that we want to swap now the, for bs it might be around the max it's now so expensive oh the max it can go is like one dollar 
it's no I don't think it will go above one dollar. This one that this one is showing that that this one is showing twenty point eight cell. BSC should be around like zero point eight nine, zero point nine zero or one dollar or so. So that's the that's one crazy thing about that that's why most people prefer Ethereum project to go to exchange first before they will buy. Once it goes to exchange, the gas fee is not as massive as this. No. The gas fee will be like the normal exchange charges. It won't charge much. It will charge you very minimal amount of charges compared to the um, wallet DEX here that you'll be charging a crazy amount of um, gas fee. So that's that for this. Yeah. So we have one inch, one inch, uh, one inch swap to where you trade all tokens on one inch exchange and the rest. So I can, you can see this is one inch exchange. This is Ave Network too. This is one inch exchange you will make sure you pick the right network as well so here change it to you also change it to one inch net so all of them like that when you're using when you're trading on this thing you always make sure you use the right network that's just all you need like here now we have ever avalanche this is avalanche too this is avalanche these are uh, arbitrum this is polygon this is cello phantom you have all of them phantom they are all here if you didn't if you don't some some of you may not be seeing all this on your wallet because if you don't if you've not updated your trust wallet you won't see some of the networks so once you update then you see everything there so recently phantom is also pulling waves in terms of uh, trades because phantom is actually working fine now too they have they are coming up with different tokens on phantom and also even some staking and so on on phantom network even though i've not been into it i've not been trading phantom for a while i'm mostly more i'm much more active on algorithm blockchain so far right now so that's why i've been preaching most time i always preach algorithm blockchain because that's where it works more most for me yeah that's that's for me it might not be, you might not like it but for me that's where my favorite is yeah so ahem so that's that for how to use dex if there's anything you don't understand per se i don't mind even doing another video for you if you want me to personally privately or if you want me to guide you privately in dm i will do so as well i know i can't say everything there are some things i might i mean i've missed out but when you drop comments for me and i see the comments i can explain to you in the comments or privately in dm anyone you want i'll do that so now i'll just show us what um what what uh, the yield farming staking and liquidity mining that's what i'll be showing us now so for yield farming let me just let me just um, uh, orally just explain what they mean so you when you talk about yield farming yield farming is just the same thing like you know in in the banking sector we have we, we have what we call fixed deposit whereby you deposit certain amount of money uh because you want you know the amount you deposited maybe you deposit 100 uh, 1 million then they said you be get you get social percentage for your money that you deposited you know the amount of money you surely get back your money the exact amount you 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 funded in the account then later then they will pay you your profits separately that's your interest separately that's how yield farming works it's mostly people that use huge amount of money like wheels most of them self they they use it like for example they they know pro it's they mostly in, do uh, yield farming for projects trusted projects project that they know that they can't rock pull because once they rock pull in that kind of project they will rock pull your money join so they will not try to do yield farming for and uh, do farming for on project they don't trust no because but, but one thing about farming is the amount of money you put the amount of money you put in your listing you always get the the money is much more important because what you invest you always get it back even if market is dumping it is it, it will even enjoy when market is dumping when they are farming because why please pay attention why is because when the market is dumping you know that for example you invest one million for example you invest one million in cake and they now give you like 
let's say for example they gave you 1000k it's just it's just a, a abstract word i'm using i'm not using the exact amount so for example you use 1 million dollar then they gave you 1000 cake and as at then cake was just cake is cake is, cake is just around 20 dollar for example and you invest 1 million for farming you want to farm cake with 1 million dollar then when farming at 20 dollar per cake then cake now drop to cake cake now drop to like uh, that means when you buy 1 million at that at that rate for example they gave you 1000 it's just it's just it's just i'm just using don't think I, it's i didn't use any arithmetic it's just basics so now when you use, you bought 1 million cake they gave you 1000 quantity at 20 dollar per each cake let's say 10 uh, 10 dollar per each cake so that you don't get confused so that we'll use the mass equally 10 uh, 1000 cake at 10 dollar for 1 million dollar so when you get it like that the cake now say for example cake div the value of cake divided divide by two it went from 10 dollar to five dollar for example so now that means you you at even is normal trade as a then your one million dollar will turn to five hundred dollar five hundred thousand dollar i i know we all know that if you divide by two one million will surely turn to five hundred uh, thousand dollar but in farming when you divide by two like that your money is what is much more important you know will can decide to come that ah now that the value of cake has divided by two and i invested one million earlier they gave me one thousand cake so now i want to take back my one million for example you want to take back your one million when cake divide by two how many cake do you think you get you now get two thousand cakes why why because you are getting it because now the value of cake has divided by two it has divided by two it's like you shorting a market in futures so now it has divided by two you want to get your money back it is my one million i want and now your one million is now two thousand cake instead you i think i hope you understand the arithmetic it looks corny but that's how it works so now most times people that do farming mostly they gain mostly when market drops and they sell and they take their uh, money when the market drops they make profits like that though they will still get money for for putting their money in that farm for farming and they still make money when market dumps so you can see there are people that makes money from some project dumping so that's why you 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 will be thinking everybody keeps look, losing money when this product dumps not knowing that there are people that profit from projects that dumps that's why i do tell some people that in some markets there are what we call manipulation or some people will say there is nothing like manipulation they don't believe in manipulation manipulation happens there are people that manipulate market to their own uh, gain yeah it works like that so the difference between the farming and staking now is that in staking staking is mostly for broke guys like us you just go there okay i have okay i bought so so, so number of key because in in as i said in farming the amount of money you invest is what you say you want to get back so if if it happens in the opposite direction that the market pump for example you bought you got 1000 cake at 1 million dollar so it now pump to like 30 times 2 that means when you are taking your uh removing your money that you invested in the farming what you will now be getting is now 500 cake so your cake will now be 500 cake so you can see it's it, it's actually a two-way something but you get you when you are taking your profit uh, money when it, the market dumps you get more more cake than when you actually take it when the market pumps meanwhile in staking when you stake it's you just say okay oh, i want to be getting more of okay i want to stake for example i want to stake cake to earn cake so whatever you invest is whatever quantity of cake you invest is what you get back that is how uh, staking is not like, unlike the other one that you invest one million girl. if markets dumps your money will dump in stake maybe you invest uh, three cake and three cake was uh, 300 dollar then the value of cake went from for example from uh, ten dollar to one dollar that your three hundred dollar will go to thirty dollar so that is how it is your money will be going as the market is going in stake but your quantity will still be the same thing if you invest three cake 
you still get by your three kick but at the current value you can see the value is act the difference is actually in the monetary term when it comes to farming and take if you don't if you don't understand i can still explain for you in in in, in voice notes even if it means chatting privately but i believe this explanation should make it work and that of liquidity mining the different the liquidity mining here is just that okay oh, i can see this project maybe for example the project doesn't have enough capital to start that project to start uh, to invest in liquidity so that to ensure to enable smooth swapping you know say kai are there people that can help us add liquidity that's the liquidity as i've explained earlier here for you that liquidity is the amount of money that makes swapping easy and works perfectly so they cannot ask the people who if there are if the project owners like admins or developers can ask among these our holders if there is anybody that is willing to add liquidity to our liquidity pool we are ready to give you so 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 amount of our token on a so 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 day if you can keep holding this uh, adding liquidity so, so if you add so so amount of liquidity you get so so, so reward maybe we'll pay you BUSD or we'll pay you with our token if you invest so so amount of liquidity we'll pay you so so amount of our token so that's how liquidity mining is you are giving them your money so that they will pay you in form of their own token though that liquidity you are adding you can decide to remove it later it's not as if when you add liquidity, uh, you dash them. No, you can still get back your money, but they can give you uh, terms and they can be terms and conditions applied. Now, okay, if you are investing liquidity for you to get a reward, your liquidity have to stay. You have to leave the liquidity in the liquidity pool from so 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 day to so so day before you can take it. That's when you qualify. That's how liquidity mining works. I hope you all understand now. So for trust wallets, liquidity mining, and the rest. So let me show you how I have. Okay, I have one. I staked my cake for Raka. I think I staked rack. Uh, I staked cake for Raka. So let me show you how it works. How how staking works on um, Pancake Swap. So you can see here. Check these options I have here. You can see here we have trades. We have N. We have Win. We have NFT. So this N is what we will check now. So let's check N. You can see we have farms, we have pools. So I'll be showing you the pools. That's where I have cake staked. So you can see my stake, it used to be auto cake bounty before i I used to stake cake for cake because before so i would take my cake to get cake so I, i'm broker so it's not as if i would take too much cake like that so i'll be showing you so you can see this option this these are all the here these are all the stakes available you can stake uh this is auto cake first this one is auto cake that means you take your cake you'll be getting cake in return You'll be getting cake you'll be getting extra cake your cake will be increasing the value of quantity of your cake will be increasing that's what this means and this is the apy <coughs> that's <coughs> the percentage of return you'll be getting that's yearly percentage it's not daily it's not monthly it's yearly that's annual uh, percentage so now here you can see this 2.15 percent so that means you can do your math for example, you want to invest, you want to stake, for example, you want to stake a uh, $1,000 $1, worth of cake. You now say, okay, if $1,000 of a uh, cake is $100, for example, you now do the math. You now say 62.15 divided by 12. How many percent will now that be in a month? That will now be your monthly percent. You know that if I'm investing so so amount, this is what I'll be getting every month. But this uh, this percentage you are seeing here, it is subjected to change. The more people, the more people start investing in this particular pool, the more the APY will start decreasing. But if there are lesser people, it will increase because the money they'll be paying to people, the more much people, more people enter, that means the higher they'll be paying, the higher the world they'll be paying out. So they will be reducing it also to also meet up with their target. So that's how it is. But this is this particular one, this Enraka stake cake. That's the one I invested. You can see that's where value is. I actually staked it not long, but this is the current value of uh, current quantity of Raka I've gotten, and that's the value in USD. 
actually staked three cake just three cake the cake has been so useless recently this cake at some point was 24 dollar but recently i think cake is around i think it's around seven dollar or thereabout or so so annoying the market has dumped actually it's like every market that dumped but cake has been so sluggish recently so that is how you can see the apr as I, when i actually actually staked it was much it was higher than this so it was like 70 something percent but you can see now it's 50.8 so it has reduced but the reason why i decided to choose raka is because raka is currently down i mean any this kind of raka I, at least i i raka raka i mean i always believe raka at some it might not be soon but it's not a financial advice actually i believe at some point raka will get to a level where it will be something uh, something good in future because it has some strong backups which i believe so here now what i'm trying to let us know is um this is how the staking works so this harvest you are seeing it means okay oh, i'm no more interested in this taking pool anymore this raka and uh, cake that's what it means once you click harvest you mean you take your cake out of this and automatically that your raka will go to your wallet it will now be showing in your wallet and cake and for cake uh, your cake will also go back to your wallet you can use it to stake and get another for like this uh, ns fund you can decide to switch to s fund and leave raka then this amount of raka 225.48 and so will go to your wallet then you now stake cake to ns fund because you notice the apr is higher or something so you can do that but you can still give, buy another cake and still come and invest uh, stake this one separately so it works like that as well so that once you but once you click this harvest as you can see here now this harvest once you click this harvest you that means you are leaving the pool maybe because you want to use you see a better apr you want to use or maybe the staking is over sometimes when once the staking is expired if you have to it, once it's expired you you stop getting increase increment so you just have to go go and invest your thing nobody will add more money for you so the best thing is baba go and pack your money and leave because the thing is over if not you just be wasting your cake there just go and remove your cake and stake for something else as well so that's how staking works <clears throat> i just hope and believe we all understand how this tree works so please don't forget to subscribe to the channel then click on the subscribe button below and also the bell button the bell sign to always receive notification for our new uh, for our new videos every time we post any new video you'll be among you'll be one of the first people to see um, the video notification please and please i'm begging just a way to say thank you to me please just like click the like button on the video subscribe and also turn on the notification and also please share with friends and family that it might benefit it might it work i i'm very sure it will benefit them and they will be so glad you shared with them. it will be like you, sh you you gave them money it will just be like you gave them money when they learn and make profit from this video please and please share with others please thank you uh oh, sorry let me even show you this 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 you see okay 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 now my my cake is now four after i i did auto cake my three i stick for a very long time so the three cake i was having on turned four so the value in usd is what you are seeing as this at 4.56 that's that's that so that's so now if i actually want to harvest so once i click this harvest i will harvest the rack i have then once i this minus and plus you are seeing in front of this cake it means i want to remove my cake I can decide to remove just two cake from this text so the pass the amount of cake i invested maybe i want to remove two cake then use the two to enter this s font ns font then two will be for raka i can share it like that so i'll just click this minus sign once i click this minus sign i'll now put like maybe for example on stake how many cake i want to stake 50 percent you can see 50 percent is 2.047 cake so once i confirm it will stake these two cake cakes that's what it means i i believe we all understand uh, again i'm still reminding you again please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as a way of saying thank you to me for the video
please and also share with friends and families please thank you very much i, I really appreciate your time thank you so subsequently i will be running a video on how to use the solana blockchain as well it's just similar to to this uh pancake swap so once once so I w once I drop the video, if you turn on the notification, you'll see it. And I believe uh, we'll all learn from that as well. And I believe we'll all make enough, enough money from that by God's grace. We'll all make money. And you'll be so glad you'll learn. You're so glad you'll learn. Uh, so thank you very much. Thank you.